Jacobson, Marketing Arts Lee. So today we're going to talk about product development. This is day five of our Refresh Our Etsy shop. This week we're talking all about our shop, what we're currently doing, what's going on. Next week we're going to be talking about um, how to market our products. So that's going to be my favorite week. Anyway, so what I'm looking at here is if you go to... Of course, how do I find it now? Marketing search analytics is where you come. And what I'm doing is I am looking at what people want. So Etsy list template, right? This is all things lead track, lead track, list template. So I could use these keywords. Now I was talking to my bestie. And she's like, but aren't those just your keywords? Yes. The thing about, and we're going to be doing a whole thing on Etsy SEO next week, but the whole thing about Etsy is it's like a six-year-old child. It is literal. So if you don't have those keywords in your listings, you cannot be found in search for that. So these are all going to be spitting back to me my tags and my titles, but in words and phrases, maybe in ways I haven't thought of. For example, she said, yeah, that happened to me. I have all different kinds of keywords, but they had matched two different keywords, visual and journal together in a way that I didn't have. And I'm like, that's it. You had visual for something else and journal for something, but they said, okay, we're going to put these two together and this is going to be a thing. So she can either change her SEO for that, or I would do another product that was a visual journal. This is where your product development comes in. You can start to think of things and do other things that you necessarily wouldn't have. So I have editorial calendar, Etsy planner. Usually on your first page, you're going to get all your normal um, stuff, right? Realtor lead tracker. Now, this is something that in one of the previous videos, if you haven't watched it, I don't know which one it is, but I don't have a specific product for a realtor lead tracker or a realtor lead track worksheet or anything like that. So that is definitely something that I should add to my shop. YouTube content planner. I don't know if I have a YouTube content planner. I don't think I have a content planner, to be honest with you. I know I have a, a YouTube video form and I know that I have a blogging form, but I know that I do not have a content planner. And so my stats are screaming at me that I need to do um, a content planner. This is a fun one, best-selling printables. People do a search for that. And so I have that in my tags. There's been two visits for it. But it's, it's a tricky one, right? You can put best. You can put um, best is the best word. Okay. Realtor marketing, realtor planner, realtor video. So I could definitely do like, here's a, here is a product development idea. I have a video worksheet that is not specifically for realtors. Uh, that's like a video checklist sheet. I could literally do it for realtors mark it as that and get um get some more sales right okay now that was free everybody has those keywords um you're going to be able to see that these are the ones that come when you're doing your ads so this is in marketing etsy ads right here and then i went to um, my ebay listings boop, boop, boop. All right, so eBay, eBay templates, eBay seller, eBay template, eBay listing. Okay, this is called eBay product listing sheet, seller form listing template, eBay template seller. They really like the template part, or even if the buyers on Etsy aren't specifically looking for templates, Etsy has decided that my shop sells templates, right? So I should make sure that my Etsy form 
has templates in it. Now, I don't know if I have that. Let's go look. Back to Etsy ads. Etsy templates. So that's there. Can, and this is a little bit more of SEO. They're going to overlap. These two overlap a lot. But what else can I make that would be a template for, I could make an, a book template, right? I could make a direct sales template, something like that. So you want to find out what Etsy thinks your shop is about. And then I like to use Marmalade. The reason I knew about templates was because if you use Marmalade, this is that service that you pay less than 20 months. 20 bucks a month and they tell you things about your store and they do, you can do keyword searches, things like that. But this is what I noticed that printable template, auction template, eBay templates, like the things that are not my focus keywords, which means the things that Etsy has combined for themselves in my shop are the things that are interesting. Let's do another one. So real estate marketing, perfect listing blog worksheet. Let's see what the non-focus keywords are. Oh, they're all me. Okay, marketing realtors, marketing for realtors, realtor blogging, real estate blogging. So those are things that I should have in here. Do I, I probably don't have blogging. They're probably, they might be extrapolating blog or it might be in my tags or titles. Yep, realtor blogging. So they're saying that those are non-focused keywords that are being searched for. Now, last but not least in mine, this is a, um, these are the paid ads for my um, direct sales planner, right? And I'm getting found through search for these plan with Mary Kay, pure romance, party light, um, and then Sensi business supplies. I have not thought of business supplies in there. Now let's go look at direct sales planner. So this is direct sales planner, MLM business planner, and they're pulling pieces and parts of this Avon planner, business planner, they would really like if I made, so this is a ridiculous thing I could do. I could make an Etsy business planner 2021, 2021. I don't put the dates on my um, planners, they're perennial, but I could market that, have one page in there that was the 2021 planner, have exactly the same planner in there and have another listing that may sell better because I put the date in there. Now, all of this is about planners. Let's do somebody else's stuff. So Gianna was a little bit frustrated, I could tell yesterday, when we were talking about um, looking in your own keywords, and she's like, they're all my keywords. I already know them. But the thing is, what you want to do, and I looked at this snail print, okay? So snail cat art print, anthem of uh, cat art. So now we have cat art twice. We have art again. We have cat again. We have art again. So she could do a lot of, a lot more keywords in her title. I can't see her tags. But if you come down here, there's some really good things that they think she is also. Collage art, mixed media art housewarming gift, Christmas gift, snail art, like this, she has snail art, cat art, cat lover gift, cat mom. So she could do gift, cat lover gift, you know, maybe she has gift for cat mom, gift for whatever. Um, this is a way that you can start to figure out what terms you use, but also what's in, cause I can't see her stats. But I can take a peek and see that she has very similar tag or very similar titles for a lot of her stuff, right? I bet she has a template. Mermaid Chihuahua earrings, mermaid dog jewelry, pit bull earrings, mermaid dog jewelry. 
Weird earrings. So she's using exactly the same keywords for all the products in her shop. And she should try to find additional things that she can use so that she can get the data from her shop to find out what she should do. And her tags show up. Sometimes they show up, sometimes they don't. Dangle and drop earrings, right? Dog mermaid gift. Nobody is searching for a, a dog mermaid gift. I can promise you that. Dog Mermaid dog earrings. So now she's just repeated mermaid dog, dog mermaid, right? Mermaid jewelry, laser cut jewelry, laser cut mermaid, fantasy earrings. The thing that you want to think about is as she's looking at her stuff, are people searching for laser cut earrings, right? If we could see into her stats, are per people searching for laser cut earrings? And if not, then we find out that they're doing chihuahuas, right? So say they happen to love chihuahuas, the, that community is rabid. You would do chihuahua earrings. You would do a chihuahua magnet. You would do a chihuahua pin. You would know to make a art pin, you know, an art print, a card, things like that. You need to know which of your things, like this, I love this girl, this cat girl, she's um, smoking weed. So does she have in her um, tags and titles, pot, marijuana, um, like, like uh, you would do a search for all the culture of marijuana things, and then you would have way different things. So she has weed sticker, laptop sticker. That's the same thing. So no sticker, sticker, sticker again, sticker again. You're not going to sell, you're not, Etsy doesn't give you extra credit for having sticker in there a lot. They give you extra credit for pot. So she has weed again. What about pot? What about marijuana? What about um, smoking? Does she have smoking? Like, even if, like, I didn't know it was a pot cigarette. I thought it was a smoking cigarette. And I used to smoke. And I love smoking. It was so wonderful. Um, but so gift for smokers, things like that. So what I see here, and I can't see your tags. So, well, maybe we can see your tags. No, we can't see your tags on this one. But, but there are so many different keywords she could use. And then for her product development, if she finds out that she gets a niche where a lot of people like her pot stuff, she becomes known for that, then she can make a pot. Um, that's still a cat. What else does she make? A pot dog, like the, make this little dog smoking, make this bird smoking, make this ram smoking, right? So now you're starting to see how you can use your own stats, use your own data, and then extrapolate from there to find out what's working to make more products based on what people already like for your own shop, right? That's something that's very hard for us to understand. And I'm going to show you behind the scenes in my um, blog and I know we're not bloggers, but I think I, I can explain it better in my blog, right? So what happens with a blog is Google is way better at doing, um, is better at keywords, right? Google's whole thing is keywords. And so we're going to try to find, uh, let me see, where's my keywords? Oh, search results. Okay. So uh, in here, I can say views versus visits Etsy, right? I can see customer demographics, how to get more views on Etsy. And these aren't very exciting, but what can happen is I can go into my pages, which is like our listings, right? And say I do, how many, how many views do you need to get uh, sales on Etsy? And what I'll find in here is Etsy total views versus visits. I may not have that exact phrase in my blog post, but because Google thinks that's important on my site, I should do it. 
what is a view on Etsy? Do I have that phrase on my page or do I just have, like, do I have a nice breakdown of that on my blog? So you can do that same thing with your Etsy and figure out what they're thinking your stuff is about. And if it's not exactly right what you're selling, then you can make a product that is exactly right to match that search that they're showing you for. So hopefully that helps. I'll put Gianna's uh, link in there. I'll put the link to my blog post, how to get to Marmalade, how, if you like that tool. So hopefully that helped. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.